This year I am planning out my homeschool very differently than I have ever done it before. And I normally put everything all in one binder or one notebook or one planner or something like that. But this year I'm doing it completely differently. So I'm gonna share all of that with you today. Hi, I'm Michelle, and if you're new to my channel, this is A Common Life. I'm a homeschooling mom of five kids, ages four through 12, and we have been homeschooling for about seven years now. We started kind of halfway through one year, and so our timing's a little bit off, but it's about seven years. And over those seven years, I have planned out my homeschool differently probably every single year. But I finally feel like I've kind of hit my groove and I really know what I want from a homeschool planner and how I want to organize everything. So I'm gonna share with you right now what we are gonna be doing this year. For the first time ever, I am actually gonna be using two separate planners. Normally what I like to do is I like to put everything, like all of our life planning stuff, like our meal plans and our daily to-do lists and all of that in one planner along with all of my homeschool stuff. Now last year I used this happy planner here to plan out everything, everything for our life, everything for all of our appointments, everything like that, to-do lists, and all of our homeschool stuff. But I'm not doing it that way this year because I'm gonna be using, or I am already using, this daybook, which is a Catholic daybook and it's the academic version. And I have been using this for basically everything else. So it's not actually very academic, but it does have some homeschool things in it and field trips and things like that, or you know, first day of school or days that we don't have school. And that's all in this book. But the other book is basically just a record of what we're doing throughout the year. Now I do use this day book every single day because at the beginning of the book, there is a section, I have a little tab for it, of prayers. And so we can kind of go through these prayers, different daily intentions and things like that. So I do like this beginning of the book, but as far as the rest of it, it's basically just our personal calendar and things like that. I'll give you a little peek, but I'm gonna have to jump ahead of several months because I don't wanna kind of give everything away. But I did add tabs on the side for all the different months of the year. So here is a look at the calendar spread for the month of June. And what I've done in all the previous months is I have put out everything that we need to know throughout our homeschool year and just our own personal calendar. I'll put everything on this page. And then um, as the weeks come, I add the details. So I don't do any of this section ahead of time. I'll do it maybe at most a week ahead of time, but normally I'll sit down Saturday, maybe Friday, Saturday or Sunday, and I'll fill out this section of the planner. That way I can keep this out. I have like a little um, like chalkboard that I keep this on. And so I can look at it every single day and I can know what we have going on. In this checklist section, I always write our meal plan. So I kind of change that. I put a little sticker over it and then I write on our meal plan for the week. And then I'll add other sections as well, depending on what we need. This bottom section I always save for YouTube planning. The middle section is always kind of like a to-do list. And this top section is things that I need to know that day. So those may be homeschool related, they may, may be appointments or things like that, um, but I do always kind of cross-reference the calendar so I don't try to duplicate everything. I just put things here that are kind of extra important, maybe times of things that I need to do or things like that will go in this top section. Like I said, I keep this kind of displayed on a little, it is a chalkboard, but it's kind of functioning more as an easel, but I keep this calendar displayed on that so I can see and the kids can see and we can kind of get everything done. Because for me, if it's out of sight, it is completely out of mind. I will not remember to do anything unless I can see it on a list and I'm all about lists. So I will make lots of little lists. Usually I have some extra post-its with lists on it just so I make sure that I'm getting everything done. So that's just a look at my kind of weekly planner. Now I'm gonna show you how I am using my happy planner this year to use in my homeschool. Now I am not doing my lesson planning here in this happy planner. I am actually using it kind of just as a, um, almost like a keepsake because I'm keeping a record of everything that they do, but I'm also including lots of different um, actual like worksheets or coloring pages or things like that that we want to keep. I'm actually adding them to this planner. So the first section of this planner has basically all of our homeschool information. So it has our calendar for the entire year. Any days that I'm volunteering at the kids' schools, field trips, clubs that we're a part of, all that kind of stuff is in the beginning of this planner. Then I have a section after that that is all of, their curric all of my curriculum plans. So here is my curriculum planner. And in here I have laid out everything that we have been doing or will be doing throughout the school year. So this is the kids history curriculum for my younger children. I've put that in here and um, we can just kind of like go through and make sure that we're doing everything. But on top of this, 
I am currently using Homeschool Panda online to keep a record of everything that we do. So everything that I had written out on here, I re-entered it on Homeschool Panda, which is not ideal because if I had realized I was gonna be using Homeschool Panda, I wouldn't have already made a document with all this information. But I am using Homeschool Panda and I entered all of this in. And as we go through it, I can just check it off on Homeschool Panda and it is done. And we have this really nice record of everything that we've done. So I'm using Homeschool Panda for that, but I'm using this kind of as like, like something to keep all that information in just for myself. So then after this, I have four tabs with four out of my five children's work. I do not have a fifth tab here for my son, Eric. I just have my four oldest children, but because we're gonna be doing a lot more pre, uh, preschool and kindergarten work, I really need to kind of keep a record of it. But in our state, you don't have to track attendance or do anything like that. You don't even have to declare that you're homeschooling your children until they're at the age of seven. So I do not legally need to keep a record, but I probably will just for myself just to have it, but I won't need to do attendance or anything like that. Let me show you how I've set up the children's sections. They're all different. So this first one is my son, John, and I did add something a little bit inspirational for myself at the beginning of each section. And so this is just a look at all of the different things that he is gonna be doing throughout the year. So this is basically just like our first week of school. We didn't really do very much. We just did a little bit. And then as we go through the year, I will fill out more and more pages. Then every single section has a little tab where their attendance goes. And I've just printed off this page. It's from homeschooling.about.com. And I know that our state actually does offer homeschool pages, but I'm just using this one because it's nice and easy and it has a section for comments at the bottom so I can add in any details that I may need. So moving ahead to my son Gregory section. Again, he's got a nice quote at the beginning. And then I just filled in all of the information. And one of the things that we're doing is teaching textbooks for math and I'm just kind of writing in their scores at the top just for myself. We have a record online, so I don't actually need to do that, but it's just kind of nice to see. And then he again has an, a, a section here for attendance. And then my daughter has her own section here. Now she did not do basically any schoolwork that first week of school. And then the second week, this is all of her assignments from the cottage school. And so what I'm doing is I'm just writing down all of her different assignments and just checking them off as she gets them done. And she also has an attendance section. She also has a section here of all of the syllabi for the different classes that she's taking. So that's what this whole section is here. And then at the back, we have my sons, and he had um, a week more of school than my daughter did, so I just wrote in all of his assignments, checked them off, and that's how we are keeping track of everything. And then at the back, I just have a little folder and some paper that I can kind of take notes on or do whatever I need with. But one of the things I have been doing is after their attendance pages, I have been adding in some of the work that they've completed. And so I've added this in, and then we added in their All About Me pages, and I'm just kind of, kind of, as I go throughout the year, just add different things that they're proud of into this binder and save it, and then I'll be able to use this basically as a keepsake for our entire school year. So it's very, very simple. This is nothing fancy at all. Nothing that took me a lot of time to plan out. And it's working really, really well. And I'm really, really happy with it. And I find for me that when I do the more of a um, checklist like this, where I have all of their assignments written out, and then I'm just kind of like checking things off and writing things down that we got done, this just works so much better for me because you never know what's gonna happen. You might get a sick kid, you might have something come up and to plan everything out weekly, I just don't like that. So all I do is I just put the dates in at the top when we've completed work and I fill it in. And I absolutely love this style. I love any type of checklist or anything that makes life easier for me. And so this is working really, really well for me. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you would like to see more videos like this about planning or homeschool, please subscribe to my channel. And if you enjoyed this video, please click that like button. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.